For Pride Month, unfortunately, required reading would like to cover a few authors that we normally wouldn't cover just because of time. In this particular case, it's for children's books. This one is Goodnight Moon by Margaret Weiss Brown. Goodnight Moon is a favorite childhood read for a many, and it's probably the most famous book of the extremely prolific children's author. She was born May 23rd, 1910, and passed away November 13th, 1952, after being stuck in bed following a severe issue with an ovarian cyst. She ended up suffering an embolism after kicking her leg into the air to show the nurses how good she felt, and it dislodged a blood clot. She revolutionized the way that children's books were told, and was a huge fan of Gertrude Stein and her verbal wordplay. One of her first jobs was to recruit authors to write children's books. Hemingway and Steinbeck declined to respond, but Gertrude said why not. Brown would go on to write about a hundred children's books, often under different pseudonyms like Golden McDonald, for different publishers. When she passed, she ended up leaving behind 70 different manuscripts, including a bunch of sheet music. So why is she being covered during Pride Month? Brown not only had relationships with men, but also a long-term romantic relationship with Lance Ulrich, better known as Michael Strange. Uh, Michael Strange was a poet who had also been married to one of the, um, the Barrymore family. Margaret Weiss Brown is a bisexual icon who's often overlooked because she wrote children's books, and we just want to make sure that she's remembered. Here's a short list of her more famous books. When the Wind Blew, Bubble Bugs and Elephants, A Big and Little Book, The Little Fireman, The Noisy Book Series, Baby Animals, The Runaway Bunny, Don't Frighten Lion, Big Dog, Little Dog, Horses, A Red Light, Green Light, A Child's Good Night Book, They All Saw It, The Little Fisherman, Little Lost Lamb, The Little Island, Little Fur Family, The Man in the Manhole and the Fix-It Men, Good Night Moon, The Golden Sleepy Book, The Golden Egg Book, The Sleepy Little Lion, The Important Book, The Little Cowboy, The Little Farmer, Wait Till the Moon is Full, The Color Kittens, Two Little Miners, My World, Oh Said the Squirrel, Fox Eyes, The Duck, Mr. Dog, Dog Squash, and then there are a whole group of others that were published posthumously. She had one of the most interesting lives that I think I've ever read, and there's a brilliant book by Amy Gary called In the Great Green Room, The Brilliant and Bold Life of Margaret Weiss Brown. I wanted to make sure that she got some, um, some praise during this month. Thank you so much.